People in one real rancho neighborhood say the pond behind their homes has turned into a smelly swamp over the last week. They say the owner started to drain that pond, killing hundreds of fish that are still out there. News 13's Marissa Lucero has that story. Dean, the pond sits on private property, and the owners tell us they followed all the rules when it comes to draining those ponds. As you enter the Enclave neighborhood in Rio Rancho. This was one of the things that I think attracted a lot of people to live here. People say they bought their homes here in part for the backyard views that just a few years ago, what used to be a former golf course known as Club Rio Rancho looked like this. They're used to seeing a golf course as part of their backyard. Now, neighbors say the tall weeds and dead plants are the least of their problems. Last year, developer Josh Skarsgård purchased the property with high hopes for it. The original plan was to leave the ponds in place, um, thinking that a golf operator would be coming in relatively quickly. Skarsgård's attorney Becky Torres tells us it hasn't been easy. She says they recently hired contractors to drain the two ponds they don't need. Neighbors say they were never told until last Sunday they smelled dead fish. Every single day the smell is getting worse. It's kind of a bad odor. There's, you know, birds eating on them. Neighbors tell us they've also been trying to save turtles, taking them to the Rio Grande. They just drained this and didn't even manage to transport them. My son had seen them uh, load up bags of dead fish. Skarsgård has a permit with the New Mexico Environment Department to drain the ponds. Torres tells us when they hired someone to test the water, they didn't find any species lived there. Because of the water quality, they didn't expect there to be fish. Um, second, the fish that were in there were um, they're basically goldfish and carp. They're an invasive species and they're bottom feeders. Neighbors say someone should be held responsible for the mess. How do you expect the community to back you when you can't even take care of the simple things? Now, Tora says they're still working on draining that last pond and they'll be sending someone out to clean up the rest of the dead fish. Back to you, Dean. All right, Marissa, thank you. New Mexico Game and Fish says they were also notified by neighbors of their concerns. They say they did not identify any endangered species, so there's no need for them to step in.